Kodak, Polaroid, historically film companies. Where did they make mistakes that Polaroid hasn't? You know, um, I think that they there's just a transition that takes place in terms of how companies are run, the number of employees they have, um, the vertical nature of their business models. We're a very virtual business model where we find best-in-class partners around the world who are go-to-market partners on specific categories with specific territories, and it's very it's completely different than what Polar, than what Kodak is today. Um, they probably will try and innovate and follow us, I'm guessing, but we really were blazing a trail and we're leading the way as a company with an innovative business model with innovative products. And uh, you know that's the past is behind us. We're we're looking to the future, and the company is extremely healthy and in a very different boat than Kodak is. So it sounds like there is some sort of window where you know these historically filmed companies were either going to innovate, you know, as you say, Polaroid yeah. innovated, Kodak wasn't able to. Right. When was that? When did that really that key moment happen, and when did it end? You know, I don't know if there's a key moment you can pinpoint in time, but what you have to look at is a company, an operating company, has to ramp down their expenses and their infrastructure to match what's happening in the marketplace in terms of what's going on with technology, what's going on with consumer trends, what's going on with demand, and we've done that as a business, and we've, we've transformed ourselves. Um, where we are extremely nimble, extremely flexible. We're not burdened with huge, uh, you know, debts and, and term loans and things like that, which can bankrupt a business. Where we have no debt, you know, we're owned. You know, it's all equity owned, and uh, and we have an extremely profitable business model that doesn't lose money. So that's the difference. For CNN Money, I'm Julianne Pepitone.